In this video, we're going to look at a legal problem called implement stack using queues. So the goal is we want to implement a stack data structure, which is a last in first out. So the last element that we inserted onto the stack is the first one that we remove out of the stack. So we want to implement a stack using queues. And the goal is we want to implement a stack that supports all those functions that a normal queue can have, right? So in this case, a queue has push, pop, uh, top and empty, right? So basically push, we push items onto the top element of the stack, right? And pop basically remove the element on the top of the stack and returns it. And the top basically returns the element on the top of the stack. We're now removing the, the top item, we're just returning the item um, off, off the, uh, on top, from the top of the stack, right? And we also have a boolean method, which basically returns true if the stack is empty, return false otherwise. And it's kind of similar to how we did it in the uh, implement queues using stack dish, uh, problem. We basically have to support those methods. Um, and uh, in this case, you can see we have an example, right, where we adding items onto the stack, right? And we, if we were to remove, right, the top or pop, we are removing two, right? because two is the last element that we inserted onto the stack. And if we check to see if it's empty, in this case, it, it is uh, false because we still have one element left in our stack, right? So that's one. So to solve this problem, uh, we can use two queues to implement stack. So the idea is this. So if I were to have those items here and we want to remove the top items that we have on our stack. So in this case, we have a queue where we have one, two, three. And if I were to remove this item, would remove an item from the queue in this case is gonna be the first item. So in this case, we're just gonna get all the items that we have in Q1 added on to Q2. So this will look something like this. Because we're inserting last, right? We're we're inserting from the back. So when we end queue, right, we end queue on the back. So one and two, and you can see we get the last element. In this case, after we insert one and two, we get the last element. So we can just remove that element or peak the element, right? If we were to remove this element, we're just going to remove it. Um, and then we're just going to swap their order. But if we want to peak the element, in this case, we can just return this element. And then we can just insert this element back to Q2. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to swap their order. So in this case, we're going to get P Q1 points to this Q. And Q2 points to this Q right here. So that we have two Qs and Q1 is in charge of pushing items, right? Getting items onto the onto this uh, stack data structure. And um, Q2 is there to basically a temporary queue that basically stores a temporary elements onto the queue so that we can uh, transition or uh, points or swap their, uh, swap the pointers point to a different queue, right? So at the end, you can see we still back to the state where we have one, two, right? So we're just removing one items off the, the that this stack the structure, which is the top element that we uh, remove. So in this case, if we were to pop items out, you can see the time complexity in this case is big of n, where n is the number of items that we have in our queue. And if we were to add items onto this onto this stack to the structure, we're adding inserted to the back. So we're basically um, getting a constant uh, time complexity for insertion. So this is basically how we use two queues to solve this problem. So let's take a look at how we can use only one queue to solve this problem. So the idea is pretty, uh, is the same. Like if we were to remove element three out of the stack, basically what we're gonna do is we, we basically insert this items onto the queue, right? We insert last. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this current queue, right? The goal is we wanna rotate this current queue um, basically k number of times, and k is basically the size of the current queue, right? So in this case, we rotate, so we remove the top element out of the, um, out of the, uh, sorry, we remove the first items that we have in our queue and add it onto the back. So you can see we have two added onto the queue, and we have one, remove one, and we get one added onto the queue. In this case, we have three, two, one. And if we were to remove item, we can just remove the first items that we have. Right, so you can see here we basically remove two and remove one, so we basically uh, rotate two times. Okay, 
And if we have three elements in the in the stack, we would basically rotate. If we have three elements in the queue, we basically rotate two times. And in this case, we just have to return or peek the, the last element that we have um, in our queue, right? So this will same thing. Well, if we were to remove items, it will give us a time complexity of big over n. But the space complexity in this case is going to be constant. So to do this in code, uh, we're going to use a queue. And uh, basically, we're just going to push items onto the queue. Then once we push items onto the queue, we're going to rotate the queue, right? Um, k minus one times, where k is basically the, the uh, number of items that we have in our queue. And we rotate that number of times so that the last element will be the first items that we have in our queue, right? So in this case, we insert queue.add x. So then we have size, right? So the k is equal to q.size. And uh, we're going to iterate uh, k number of times, but in this case, k minus 1, right? So in this case, it's going to be uh, k minus 1 times so that the, the, the last element will be the first items that we have, right? So in this case, we're going to say integer first is equal to q dot remove and we need to add this element on uh back to the queue right uh to the back so q dot add first so we basically enqueue this item and then at the end we basically rotate the queue k minus one times and if we were to remove, in this case, we can just remove in constant time complexity. So in this case, we can just remove return q dot remove, right? And if I were to get the top items that we have in our queue, or the top items that we have in our stack, or the first item, in this case, we're just going to return q dot peak, right? Because every time when we add items in, we already rotate the uh, the queue. And for check to see if it's empty, we're just going to return if q is empty. Okay, so now let's try to run a code. And let's try to submit. And you can see we have our success. 